A few weeks back, I actually made a poll like this one, why did you switch to Linux? And you guys responded with performance and security. So today I'm giving you some tips on Linux itself with just a few tweaks. Right now, I'm going to give you a very easy performance tip. On Ubuntu, Debian and Linux Mint, we can search for preload by typing sudo apt install and then preload. We also have Ccash and preload launch which apps you use most often and preloads them to memory, which means a faster startup. And Ccash caches compiled code and speeds up software building and reloading. I mean, we're building. So if we both install these by pressing on enter, then let's press enter again. Things should be starting up way faster. We also have to make sure that preload is enabled by typing sudo system ctl enable double dash now and then preload. Now you should have faster startup with applications. Let's get on to security because it was also mentioned. By the way, I'm grabbing all these informations from the post that I've been making and you guys respond to these polls, which means I know which video to make. But let's get on to security. Clear it. But security is useful we have a firewall, so let's make sure that UFW is enabled. There's a possibility still need to install it, so let's type sudo apt install UFW unattended dash upgrades. This will ensure it auto installs the security updates and then fail to ban, which blocks IPs after many failed logins. So pretty much stops brute force from hackers. And then app armor which restricts what applications do. It limits damage if hacked. So it allows, allows us to customize a lot. So let's install all of these. I made, it, I made a typo because I put a space here. There you go. Yes, so let's press enter. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, I'm calling it RTIC, which means reacting to your comments. Comment down below if you want to get mentioned like this. And you actually help us make videos like this where we help the viewers. So right now these performance, I mean security patches have been installed. Let's clear this and let's make sure it is all enabled by default. For example, UFW. So sudo UFW again. Let's go default, deny incoming and two of them, not one. Sudo UFW allow SSH and again sudo UF w enable do know that ssh allows you to access your pc from a remote connection if you don't use this make sure that you remove this part and you only keep it to this so let's press enter again and now we have also put on default deny incoming requests which also makes it more secure if you have any problems then the only thing you have to change is then on default allow incoming requests just like this if you encounter any problems but it's way more secure to always deny everything because also development was mentioned in this poll let's get on to development so first of all you do need vs code and git because git allows you to edit i mean track your code to changes of them and manage your own gits with repositories official studio code which is vs actually allows you to edit these codes but i also like gedit or something was it not really sure but gedit is my favorite alternative against nano i i don't really like nano nano is um yeah old i guess gedit was a good one so if you are in the terminal a lot i do recommend gedit let's install gedit just like this enter there you go great alternative to nano gedit that's, in my opinion, a lot better UI. It is even outside the terminal. But do mind, some things can't be edited with your edit, so go to Nano as an alternative. But, okay. Yes, we also need VS Code, so let's install that. But first, we need Snap. A Snap is another way we can install applications. So let's apt install. The power just went out in my house because of my father. Everything, sh everything should be working, except the internet. I'm finally back. So I was installing a uh, Snap. So sudo apt install snap, let's press enter. And then we can finally install VS code. Sudo snap install double dash classic code. Let's press enter. 
Can someone explain to me that I've already installed Snap, but it doesn't want to do the repository? I have used Linux for like two years, so why not now? But you can also get VS Code. Oh yeah, it's Dutch. You can get this on the VS Code website. It has support for Debian. I mean, the repository. Also RPM. You happen to have Fedora. RPM is Fedora. Not sure. I actually used Ubuntu in the time I was on school. So... Yeah, learning IT and all that. But yeah, I switched back to Windows. Windows has Adobe and I'm kind of addicted to it. But yeah, you can easily install it on the website, VS Code. And then once you click on it, it will open the package. And then right here, we can click Install Package for Code. By the way, the password is Linux. Now you can hack me. But hey, I got security patches, UFW and all. But yeah, while waiting, we can easily install Git itself. And Git allows us to start projects and all, and also download them directly to Linux. And yes, a lot more, I know. What you also want to have is Docker IO, but it allows you to run apps in isolated containers, and it's great for testing and deployment. So if you happen to be an app developer, it can be quite useful. So install this, sudo apt install, and then dash i, docker.io, and then we also want to get docker.composer, I mean, dash, compose. What is also useful is build. So let me just put this on another line. Build dash essential, which installs compilers and basic tools to build software from source like C or C++ mainly. Space, tmux, a terminal multiplexer. It lets you split the terminal into multiple panes and keep the sessions running. Space, zsh which is a powerful alternative shell to bash and it even has more features. There's more customization. Another one is rip grab, which is a super fast search tool in files like grab, but faster. So if you use grab, then it is faster. Rip grab. That's why. FD dash find is a faster and simpler alternative to the find command which you also can use in the terminal. So let's press enter and install all of these packages. And I don't want to say, yes, I've been on Linux one to two years, not consistently I've been switching around a lot. And this is because I've been switching around applications a lot. I've noticed that I like Adobe apps the most and Windows runs the best for me. But I do like making more Linux tutorials and also learning more myself. Most of the tutorials I'm making is all of research I have done and other people that have experience in it. I do not make apps and all. I just wanted to mention that these are very useful for the development. I did play around with Nano and all that, you know, editing user uh, settings and all that. And I had to get a way around it. I, I do want to learn to code though. But yeah, once this is installed, you will have all of these useful features. Make sure to subscribe if there were some useful things here. And I know I've talked a lot. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.